Hey, welcome back, y'all. This is Joe Sizzy, back here with another Let's Play of uh, Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. And last time, well, what didn't happen? We went into the desert, searched for the man with one arm and one gun arm, and found Barrett. And he told us he suspected it was his friend dying, and it was. Found dying, they had a pretty pretty heavy reunion there and dine was not in his right mind to say the least and they uh had a showdown and then shinra showed up and just started wreaking havoc everywhere and dine ended up getting killed and we fought that moron idiot palmer <laughs> he was stumbling around in a giant mech and then we had a shoot out in a chase scene out in the desert so yeah there a lot was going on there in fact i just had to cut it short while i was transitioning into this next cut scene where apparently we're we're showing cutting back to shinra building 63rd floor of the urban planning so let's see what this is about mm, kate sith Oh, say it's Reef. If you don't mind my saying, you're in an awfully good mood. Well, it's been productive. <laughs> don't have too much fun. Hmm. That sounded like a warning to me, but yeah, Reeve is, uh, if it wasn't obvious, Reeve actually, he is in control of Kate Sith. Um, well, I get the, I guess at this point, well, yeah, you saw the, you saw the Kate Sith doll there on the, on the cabinet, whatever. And yeah, it looks like Reeve is changing the photos on the water posters, but it'd been nice if he'd done that. Oh, I don't know, a while ago, a week, two, how much long, how much time has passed since the events of Midgar? You called, sir? What is the status of the ancient? We still have eyes on her. Is she looking for the promised land? We don't believe so. I see. Is she a higher priority than the materia? Hmm. Not her so much as her birthright. It's a dream of mine. To see it with my own eyes. Understood. We'll step up surveillance. I know you, Mr. President. You and your fears. <laughs> Still just a child, aren't you? A pig-headed, pathetic, daddy-hating child. And under that bratish exterior, loneliness. I don't deny it. Why would I? It's brought me all this. Now that's the spirit I'm looking for. We really need more people like you. To give the world a shot in the arm.
God, that guy, he just seems like he just came straight from a Kingdom Hearts game. He looks like he's part of Organization 13. He has the same kind of robes as the Black Road men, but the effects around him, the, you know, the dust swirling around him and whatnot, is very reminiscent of the Whispers. So maybe he's related to them somehow. Let's start this manhunt. Have you seen this man? I'm hunting for him. Uh, is that okay. In the sky getting bigger? You were the guy with Aerith, right? That's me. Come on, everyone. It'll be okay. Let's all dance. So, is she gonna be okay? Uh, yeah, sure. Oh, that's I forgot. Their school teacher is the also a a bee at the Honey Bee Inn. Um, what are you kids doing? Oh, I think they're playing that stop and go game. When you can only move when the person that's it is not looking. But I have to, but I have to stop if they, uh, you know, turn their gaze towards you. Go camping. Might as well get some use out of the new car. Do you mean it? Awesome. But don't you have to go to work? Not to worry. I already put in my resignation. I'm a free man now. Hey there. You seen anyone who looks like this? Afraid not. Well, isn't that Come just... On. Treat you and yours to something special. Does this guy look familiar to you? Nope, sorry. Hey, take one of us next. Sorry, I think I feel like I have to sneeze, but it's just it's it's not some you know how you feel like you gotta sneeze but it never comes. She have a, she, she have a miscarriage? Oh, no, she, okay, I'm guessing she's pregnant, but they're expecting the world to end, so. Know this guy? Never seen him. Sounds like that was in the direction of the church. Oh, well, look who it is. <laughs> There's our man.
Jeez, it's hard to get invested in anything going on in that other world and just get little snippets. So where are we bound, the spike day? South. Far south. And what's there? Not the rail, that's what. Now's death on it. Very well. South it is. Hold on to your path. Okay. You act all buddy buddy, but we don't know a thing about you. Let's fix that. There's not much to know. I'm a nine to five nobody at a small Shinra subsidiary. Another paper shuffling, copy paste, and forwarder of emails. Another Shinra lapdog. Lap cat. My mistake. But you lot are special. Properly special. Never met a special group of people in all my life. How could I not tag along? How can I not tag along? <laughs> Bullshit. Come now, this is a road trip. We should be bonded, not fighting. Oh. Let her out. Promise me. Maybe you won't take down Scarlet unless I'm there with you. Alright, I promise. If you don't give up the ghost right here and now, that is. I won't let some. Stupid car get the better of me. Not before I touched that witch right in the mouth. Oh, that's it. I can't. Wait, just just wait. We'll find somewhere to <laughs> pull over. She's about to pop. <laughs> wait, Lassie, not in the buggy. Not in the buggy. If you're gonna spew, spew into this. <laughs> Jeez. So high maintenance. Feeling any better? Uh, leave me. <laughs> well, you heard her. Where to now? We don't have any leads. And driving in circles, hoping to spot a black robe is... The worst idea ever! When you don't know where life's leading, you should get yourself a reading. Ooh. Meow, 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 meow. Your lucky food is mushrooms. Um. Mushrooms, eh? Mushrooms. We gotta, we gotta go to the Moogles. You mentioned something earlier about the Corel reactor, did you not? You saw a weapon there, right? Yeah, but I don't recall telling you. Well, it might interest you to know that just a wee drive from here, there's another rundown reactor. Reactor? Materia! Okay, I'm good. Everybody, back in the car. Let's go, go, go! Well, couldn't hurt to check it out, I guess. Hi, just a wee drive from here, so it is. Shall we? Why not? I still don't know what that has to do with mushrooms. Kate Sith, join the party. Driving the buggy. The buggy is capable of traversing not only land, but shallow waters as well. And faster than the average chocobo at that. Press down to call the buggy to your current location. Roll over transmutation materials while riding and collect them automatically. Man, this buggy can do it all. Okay. New experiences at the Gold Saucer. The Gold Saucer is offering new experiences at some of its attractions. Your success in the Chocobo Cup means you can now compete in more Chocobo races. Muscle Lake Coliseum is also starting offering six-person team bouts. What? That can't be six people all at once, can it? Because that would be pretty awesome.
It might be one of those things where you set two different teams of three and then you fight in separate fights with those two two teams. Okay, well. Apparently, Kate Sif has joined the band. Okay, well, let's see what he's got. That's right, he's, he uses the megaphones for his weapon. And I actually have a couple already. Yellow megaphone, a megaphone designed to help a mascot cheer other comrades. Roll out the dice. Roll the die. Resulting effect varies depending on which number appears. Okay. That's a, what he, uh, that's a skill he had in the last game. Iron megaphone. A sturdy megaphone that provides considerable vocal resonance. Fortune telling. Deal damage, great or small, or perhaps just get your fortune told. Okay. <laughs> Okay, well, since we uh, already learned the uh, roll the dice ability, let's uh, equip the iron one and then see what we can do here for his gear. Hmm. What does he got now? Okay. What about the illusionist armband? Get that sweet, sweet magic defense. Hmm. I'll admit, I don't know what would really be best for him, accessory-wise. Maybe the Space Ranger Service Medal, honestly. Just give him a little bit of everything. Uh, I might just, I might just take that off of Yuffie. Not like I'm really hurting for Gil at the moment. Um, yeah, I'll go with the Space Ranger. And what? Eh, let's go Chocobo Moogle. Moogle Vanguard increases damage dealt by Moogle by 10%. Moogle Sentinel reduces damage taken by Moogle by 15%. Attack damage plus, debuff extension. Uh, max MP. Yeah, I'll go Vanguard and Sentinel. Okay, what material does he have? Magnify. Well, that doesn't help. Luck up. I guess some. Of, yeah, I, you know, that makes sense because of a lot of his, a lot of Kate Sith's abilities, at least in the previous game, they were all based on casino games or you know, just games in general. You know, dice, slots, what have you. Um, so maybe those are affected by luck. Uh, okay. Well, since that doesn't link, I'll just change this up. It's nice to finally have a magnify material, though. Let's give him an HP up. He doesn't have a lot of HP, so... And let's slot him in here. He's actually higher level than most of my characters. All right.
right. Well. So, what was up with that lucky food fortune? I mean, why mushrooms? Well, this reactor's smack bang in the middle of a place famous for. Aye, you guessed it. The world's favorite fungi. Ooh. Mushrooms grow near a reactor. Yeah, I'll pass. Thanks. Hmm. I don't remember that about Bung Gungaga, but... Not to say that's not the case. Alright. Let's... Whatever that. I think it's getting time to... Sell some materials. But first, let's see where we actually are. R. No, that's not where I wanted to. Not what I wanted to do. Um, okay, yeah, this is where we were earlier. And it looks like this is where we need to go. I'm guessing around. Yeah, oh, yeah, I see a path there. Right down through mill. But first, let's uh let's go around Let's go around and explore this area a little bit more. Let's uh Go to the tower first, kinda get our, our bearing on the lay of the land. Uh well first let's actually check this place out. say with all the barbed wire and all the materials laying around look like a storage facility oh hey just sec out friend okay fighting is kate sith kate sith fights with a megaphone and his trusty moogle mount press square to attack or summon his moogle with the let's ride ability okay so he didn't just start off with his moogle guy uh, which will unlock more of kate sith's atb commands as the mogul attacks, its triangle meter will steadily fill. Press the button to deplete the meter and activate mogul abilities like fight or defense. While astride the mogul, hold down square to attack alongside your fuzzy pal. Press circle to dismount or triangle to remount. The mogul will draw from the fight once its HP reaches zero but can be summoned again at will. Okay. Okay, well, yeah, let's, uh, let's ride. Oops, that's... Get back on. Uh, let's see. Okay, I see some more. Dodge and dive. Roll the dice. Force tailing. He, well, let's do roll and die. Let's see what we got. Where'd it go? Is it ever gonna stop? Oh, six. Expansive shield? Is that, is that what it was? Dodge and die, evade attack, then use Moogle to counter with a reckless charge. Okay, I think that actually paid off. Yeah, how you like that? Have some of that. Come on, are you? Give me a break with these guys. Yeah. 
Finally. Okay. Oh, excuse me. But kind of an interesting gi gimmick with uh, Kate Sith starting off just as the cat. Well, Kate Sith is the cat. The Moogle doesn't necessarily have a name, but. Um. But yeah, it seems like he can only do some certain attacks by himself and others when he's riding the Moogles, so. I don't think the Moogle can move very fast, though. That's. I was trying to. I was trying to run during that fight, but he just. He couldn't. He wouldn't go much faster than just a waddle, so. Alright, let's see where this fella takes us. Probably to that spring there on the map. Can I go over this these rocks? Yes! Yes. Sand buggy conquering nature. Okay. <laughs> we drove 50 feet, everybody out. towards the tower. More Kekwar. All right, take these guys out. Not so fast. Okay, that did nothing. Alright, these guys are better taken. These guys are weak to physical. Uh, Landworm, that, that one's new. Not nearly as big as in the last game. Let's try this again. I'll finish it. He ate Kate Sith! It's not a sneak attack if you label it. <laughs> Give back our feline companion. Right. 
truth be told, I didn't use Kate Sith a whole lot in the previous game. At, at least compared to the other party members. Just because a lot of his uh, abilities are up to chance, or they're like really hard to get the result you want. Like the slot machine one. Okay, well, apparently we're having trouble communicating with the Chad Lee. But as long as we get the information on the Intel locations, then I think we'll be good. Let's go with that, that one next. Oh, hey. Lead the way, buddy. This must be the sandstorm. Storms causing interference. Yeah, we gathered that. Is it Ruby Weapon? No, it's Sandman, apparently. It speaks. No way. What misfortune for you to venture so far for treasure already claimed. You would do well to leave, that I may collect what is by rights mine. You think the proto relic is yours? Proto what now? Relic, you say? Ha! A ridiculous name, unworthy of my treasure. What you names covet is none other than a prize in my resplendent arsenal. The get uh -oh. Oh. The Genji gear? I can hold it no oh. Oh. Yeah, I, so that's Gilgamesh oh taking on a, I what he I guess he assumes an intimidating form. Of course we are. There's no telling where it might appear next. Please, be careful. <laughs> I guess Gilgamesh is still... He's still in his world. But he can... Somehow influence or That's how he's able to... Look into our world. Is by creating constructs like that. And, oh, the signpost is on the other side. <laughs> all better now. Your feathers are all white. And your leaf is all dried up, just like a desert plant. Uh, yeah. Well, I got in two fights, but sure, I can rest up. Uh, 
Okay. Modular reactor. Well, that is just right over there. In fact, it's probably just easier to walk. And it is overrun with cacti. The signal is growing stronger. Perhaps there is a proto relic in the nearby reactor. Uh, you mean that thing? It's been altered. Though it doesn't appear these modifications were made by Shinra. Whoever's responsible may be waiting within. Proceed with caution. Yeah. I think we're about to enter the cactuar den. Oh, look at that. They even got their own little doggy door. Mysterious power? Monster's den. A fortress, if you will. Whatever it is, I don't think we can get inside. <sighs> Commencing scan. I believe I have a match. The symbols resemble those found in the Book of Kings, an ancient tome. Allow me to translate. Hmm. Interesting. Well then, in order to unlock this door, you'll need to locate a cactuar rock hidden somewhere in the desert. What kind of rock? A mineral deposit named for its distinct cactuar shape. Now that Cloud has made contact with this door, the rock we seek should be marked by a green glow. By the way, do you happen to see a cactuar shaped statue anywhere nearby? It's one next to the door. That's it. That statue should guide you to the rock I spoke of, which in turn will serve as the key to the door. Thanks. It's what I always wanted. Ourselves worthy. I know you can do it. Seeking the Cactuar Rocks. <laughs> Hold up to raise the Cactuar, cactuar statue aloft, then follow the light it admits to locate its corresponding rock. I'm sorry, I was sort of laughing at the little image there. Yeah, okay, that's still blocked. Show me the way! It is up there on those cliffs. Okay. Is that... Yeah, it's... Back that away. Okay, well... Looks like I'll have to leave that... Enemy intel for now. Oh, that is... That is convenient. Can I race it in here? <laughs> yes! Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay, that's awesome. Oh. Just set it on the dashboard and just have it be constantly guiding us. Oh, sorry, buddy. Uh, I wonder what happens if you actually run them over. I'm sure he could take it. You're smart hanging down here in the shade. Everybody back in the buggy. Parking garage? Yeah, I don't 
see any garage. I can see the vultures circling. Luckily this path is just wide enough for our buggy. What if I run into the enemy so I'm out of clay? Yeah, okay. Yeah, these cactuars gotta go first. What does Kitty Wallop do? Oh, he yeah, literally wops, wallops him. What can we do? That's not on the Moogle. Not quite a bit, actually. Roll to three. Dice take a long time to cast. This is. Let's ride. I'm gonna put that on X. Roll the dice there. And fortune telling there. Okay. Can I go up on these containers? Yeah. Nope. Oh come on! Can't I can't climb on that? What's the deal? Eh, I guess not. Okay. Can't even hop over railing. Let's see if we can bear our bearings. There's another. There's like another structure with surrounded in those cacti. Speaking of cacti. Beam me the way. Okay, well, apparently he knocked us out of the arena. 
Hey, come on, get back here. You, you can't get away that easily. Oh, he still retains the same amount of HP and stagger gauge. Sanjay and Gilgamesh sinking once more back into the dunes. Speaking of dunes, it's a... It's the second one came out and I still haven't seen the first one. Stand before it and raise the Kektuar statue. Not my statue! What are these? Brown Kakor? Orange Kakor. Hey, quit poisoning me, you jerks. Alright, let's see what these are about. Tentacle fiends of succulent variety, mainly found in arid regions. Their bodies have adopted an aut autumnal hue. The shyest of the species, this cactuars dash, these cactuars dash to and fro. Cheeks as red as the walls of Cosmo Canyon, hitting them with physical ATB commands will pressure them. They'll typically too fast to strike, they'll be susceptible to attacks when pressured or while using abilities of their own. Charge at me. There we go. Oh, I wonder what finished him off. We stand like this. <laughs> Laugh it up, fuzzball. He must have been possessed by the great Cactuar spirit. Oh, I hope there are more statues so that they can get possessed and put in that embarrassing position. I don't have my statue anymore, so... Can't guide me to the next rock. Um, that looks like, yes, 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 that's the other half of Corel that we were at earlier. Oh, that actually is a parking garage. Oh, I must have overshot it. That's why. Um, yeah, certainly can't jump down there, although... There is something I would like to try. Alright, everybody has their affairs in order? What? Exactly. Let's go! Yes! Yes! I was hoping I'd be able to do that. Alright. Can I drive over this water? Yes. Okay, cool. Uh, 
you doing all right there, Sandman? The Stone Bowl. That's an appropriate name for this place. The huge opening in the in the ceiling. Roof of the cavern. the desert storms come in bearing it in the next half hour then uh, I think I'll be able to get it I know exactly where that is too that's the abandoned yeah that's that that village I uh, abandoned village I discovered earlier but there was nothing there at the time so but I just had a feeling there would be My Moogle! How dare you! You inhuman monsters! Roll them bones! I'm gonna big this time. Four, not bad. Total outrage. That's not really a buff. Unless outrage increases attack st uh, uh, attack power. That's a uh, that's a pretty common effect in in most games. Um, yeah, just. Spam high potions. No. Every time I, I'm out in the world and I'm just, I'm just spamming potions to heal up. It seems like there's always been a chocobo stop right around the corner. Increase in land where we're being to protect these travelers, we 
Uh, don't walk in the sand where they're at. Okay, um... I have to be really... Really careful, don't get swallowed. Or rolled on. Okay, I don't think I've actually fought this one. No, darn you. He digested Cloud! What was he weak against? Oh, that's right, I didn't get an ass- I never got an assess on him. Okay. Oh. Well, maybe next time I try that, I'll just uh, control Barrett the whole time and keep my distance. But, uh, yeah, for now, I think I'm going to call it with this one. And next time, we'll do a little bit more exploring and find more... Hopefully find more Kektwar statues and uh, get to the bottom of the mystery and into the their monster den or whatnot and see what's in there. But uh, until then, uh, thanks for joining me and hope to see you all in the next one. Y'all take care.